Hey everyone, so today we're checking out some cases for the Pixel 7 Pro. So first up, we have the two official Pixel 7 uh, Pro cases here. We have one in black, which looks like this. Uh, as you can see, it's already got fingerprints all over it. So I've used this case for actually about a week. And as you can see, my oily fingers uh, has left a mark all over this case. And I try to wipe it uh, and it's still there. So keep that in mind, if you want a black case, uh, fingerprints will get on this and it will look a little bit disgusting uh, over time. So the next one is the white one or uh, as close to white as possible. Uh, this case matches the white Pixel 6 Pro. So this one here, it's a little bit off. It's a kind of like a, almost like a light bluish beige kind of color. This one hides fingerprints a lot more. So this has also been used for the similar amount of time. Uh, and as you can see, the fingerprints are not really showing on this case. Now putting it on the phone obviously is very easy. You just kind of line up the power buttons. Uh, actually start from the top, I guess. And then once the top is in, just push the bottom edges of the phone in and that's it. The case is on the phone. So this is the black case with the black Pixel 7 Pro. This is what it looks like. Uh, there's also a shot here with the uh, white Pixel 6 Pro with the white case. Now this case does provide some uh, protection to the camera bar here. The edges, this lip around the top and bottom of the uh, camera bar. So if you do drop it, uh, at least that edge should take the hit before the camera bar gets any damage. Uh, similarly on the bottom here, there is a lip as well. So on the bottom of the phone, there's a bit of a lip that again will hopefully protect the phone if it falls flat face first uh, onto the concrete. But the edges are less protected because the screen is curved on the Pixel 7 Pro. A little bit less curved than the 6, but you know, it's still curved. Another thing to note with this case is that the buttons on the side, it's not just plain cutouts for the buttons. There's actually a silver, or I don't know, I don't know if it's metal, but it feels almost the same as the actual buttons on the phone itself. So when you have this case on the phone, the buttons are really prominent. So pressing these buttons are really easy. Uh, it, the case doesn't affect the button push or the clickiness of the button at all. So if you look inside, you will see that the buttons actually protrude into the case. So when you press it, the button actually moves into the case to push the actual button uh, on the phone. Next we have the Casemate case. So this is semi-official. Uh, I mean, it's on their official website um, and it's also got the made for Pixel here, logo here. Uh, and it's one of the first cases they had on the store when the Pixel 7 launched. Now this is probably the most protective case uh, of the three cases that I'm showing you today. Uh, it's a clear case. It's still flexible. In terms of rigidness, it feels about the same, uh, has the same rigidity as the official one here. So feels about the same. Um, they both kind of flex and have that TPU case kind of feel. Now the difference between the Casemate one and the you know official Google one here is that the buttons, they don't have that metal button, it's just rubber. So this does affect the button press a little bit, but you know, it's not, not a big deal. Uh, and the other thing that you notice is the corners of this case kind of bulge out a little bit on all four corners. So this makes it a little bit more protective than the official case. Uh, with this on the phone, uh, you will see that the corners are more protected. So if you do drop this on a hard surface, there's a bit more cushion on the corner. Uh, so hopefully that will provide you a bit more drop protection. But in terms of the cutouts, uh, in terms of the raised edges around the camera bar and so on, it's roughly the same, uh, the top of the screen, again, roughly the same, raised at the top, raised at the bottom. Of course, the curved edges are left open there. I do think this is the least attractive looking. Uh, again, fingerprints show up very easily as well. You know, it's, it's glossy, it's gonna show up. Uh, and also, because it's clear, as you can see on the, uh, the case itself, the part where the case touches the phone, you see there's a bit of a mark. So yeah, not the most aesthetically pleasing, but yes, definitely the most protective one of the three that I'm showing here today. Finally, the star of the show, or at least what I think is the star of the show, is this ultra minimal, super thin case. 
uh, and this is the case that I'm actually going to use. Uh, I'm a fan of super thin cases, and this is exactly what it is. It's almost paper thin, uh, obviously it does not provide much protection at all. So if you drop your phone with this case on, probably gonna dent. I've had this case on my Pixel 6 and that has fared fairly well. So this is the Pixel 6. Uh, I've dropped it from, you know, maybe waist height, but nothing onto concrete or anything. And the Pixel 6 is basically pristine, brand new. So let's pop this onto the phone here. Now putting it through the button side first, because, because it's so thin, the edges around the button are a little bit delicate. So you do want to put the buttons through first and then push the rest of the corners in like so. Now, once it's on, you can barely tell it's there. It's like you get to feel the, the correct form and size of the phone without adding extra bulk, which is excellent. All the cutouts are perfect. There's a little hole for the microphone there, hole for the flashlight, and then the two big holes for the camera. At the top, it does have a cutout for the millimeter wave antenna. Not sure why it's there. You probably don't need a cutout there, uh, but the case manufacturer probably just saw it as a cutout and then they just left a hole. And of course the buttons here, they perfectly cut uh, and they fit exactly in the middle. And on the bottom, we have the cutouts for the speaker holes and then the USB-C port as well. Nothing on the left. So this case is officially 0.35 millimeters thick. Now, obviously you can't tell on camera, but in your hand, it basically feels like paper. You know, it's, it's paper-like thinness uh, here. And that's what I like about it. When you have this on your phone, it feels like you have no case on at all, which is excellent. I don't want a case that adds extra bulk, uh, but obviously if you want extra protection, this is not gonna give it to you. Now, I've seen this on sale uh, from like Minimal Case or like Phoenix, and they're selling it for like 25 plus dollars. Uh, you get the exact same thing from AliExpress for under $5. So don't pay you know that price they just get it from aliexpress anyway so links in the description um anyway i hope this is useful uh, and thanks for watching